Well, I couldn't get started fishing this morning without making a cup of coffee first, but we got our coffee made. I'm just enjoying this beautiful, beautiful sunrise. This is the first time I've ever ice fished Lake Superior, and this is just something to be said, man. This is an experience in a zone. The pressure cracks are crazy, the ice is crazy, the sunrise is gonna be beautiful this morning. It is a clear morning, and I'm really looking forward to this day. Okay guys, we're getting baited up here. We got three different setups going here. We got a jaw jacker with a spawn sack in the corner. This one right here, I have a single egg and I'm gonna jig one on this rod here. So we're giving them a little bit of everything. They are here, they're in the area. Well, it has been a very challenging day, to say the least. We've moved this shack probably five or six different times. I got my buddy Casey with, and uh, we've just been searching, fishing as hard as we can, guys. We've been out here for probably six, seven hours, so we're just gonna keep fishing, and hopefully something will turn around here this afternoon. But I'm having a great time out here on Lake Superior, learning how to catch these lake trout and whitefish through the ice. Just a fish, fish. Fish, fish guys, fish, fish, fish baby, fish. Oh my gosh, he's taking drag, he's taking drag, he's taking drag. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. He's ripping drag guys, I cannot believe this. I just changed up. Oh my gosh guys, this rod is such a noodle too. Oh my gosh guys, we just switched our spots and we're finally having some success. He might be running your way too, buddy. Yeah, he's running. He's he, he can't hear it, but he's taking drag. He's ripping drag right now. I only have four pound test on this little rod too. For now. Oh my gosh, guys, he's just ripping. Oh, I just saw him. I just saw him, guys. I just saw him. I just saw him way below the ice, and he just took off. He's peeling line right now. Oh my gosh, he's just not done yet, man. Oh my god. Oh, it's a big whitey. It's a big whitey, guys. Oh, 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 oh. I cannot believe how hard that whitey fought. Holy cow. This whitefish fishing, man, I tell you what, I could see it being so addicting if it's like this. I mean, this is a noodle rod, but man, what a blast, okay. What an incredible fight, guys. Four pound test, that little ultralight rod. That was so much fun, and I'm so thankful to have finally caught some fish. We have fished for hours out here. We've moved so many times. We've been working hard, and finally it paid off. We've hooked a couple fish. We're gonna get this guy on the ice and keep trying to get some more fish here, guys, but he is gonna be absolutely delicious tonight. We'll definitely be cooking him up after fishing.
What do we got, guys? We got fish on, baby. <laughs> we got fish on, baby. It's a fish on. It's a fish on. Oh, it's a whitey. It's a nice whitey. It's a nice whitey. Got him, guys. <laughs> oh, I know we were off camera there for a little bit, but it's been a tough day, man. Just finally got this whitey on a cast master. Well, we got him on a cast master, guys. So I got that first white fish on a single egg. Now this one was on a cast master, so they're really aggressive and biting a little bit of everything. But I think we have four white fish on the ice now, and we're starting to work our way to a great fresh fish dinner. <laughs> What's going on in here? Not much. I'll oh, not much. Goalies and sculpin eyeing up the, the dead bait. sea. <laughs> yeah, the dead bearing sea. Oh my gosh, Ooh. guys! What is what? this case? Whitey. No. Nice. Oh no! Oh, he came off no. of the hole. He came off. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no! No! Well, we have put in a full day on the water. Between four guys, we only caught four whitefish the entire day. It was a very, very challenging day. We moved around a lot, but just didn't have much success. But now that darkness is settling in, we're gonna try something just a little bit different, guys. Something that I've wanted to do my entire life, which is target burbot through the ice. So I tied up some of these jigs last night, guys, and I was really thinking of lake trout when I was tying these jigs, but we're gonna try them for burbot here since we didn't catch any lake trout today. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is glow up this head. I'm gonna get this head glowing bright as I can. I'm gonna tip this jig with a little bit of whitefish belly. I'm gonna cut up some strips of whitefish belly that we caught earlier, tip this jig with it, drop it down, bounce it off the bottom, and see if I can catch my first ever burbot. I've always wanted to eat one of these. I've heard just fantastic things about them. Some people call them poor man's lobster, freshwater, Cod, lawyer, there are all kinds of names for these fish and I wanna see what all the hype is about. Okay guys, we got them glowed up. A little bit of whitefish belly. We're dropping them down to the depths. All right, guys, we're just clocking in for our burbot ship. We got the party shack going on here. We got Casey on the left. We got Greg on the right. And we're gonna see if we can catch a burbot. It's time to get jigging. I could see how this would be just absolutely addicting. Yeah, anyways. We got a suspended one, guys, coming through. He's looking for meat, baby, he's looking for meat. Gosh, it's crazy how the bottom just comes to life this time of day. We've had some smelt, some groups of bait fish coming through. We assume they're smelt, we're not totally sure. But one thing I do know is if there's smelt in the area, there'll be all kinds of fish in the area. Start up, and once they're there, that's where they are. Oh, I just had one, dude. I mean, I just had one. There you go, bro. We got him, guys. We just hit a fish, baby. It's in the dark, I don't know what it is. I put on a big gumball jig, tipped with a piece of cut bait. Guys, I just caught my first ever burbot. I can't even hold this thing, but it's about an hour after dark. We decided to stick it out and see if we could catch some burbot or whatever would bite. And uh, we got one, baby. <laughs> we got one. This thing is so crazy. I've heard they're just delicious to eat. It's pretty much a freshwater cod. So I cannot wait to get back and eat this thing. But wow, guys, this is fish cool. <laughs> Dude, they just Dude, blend right in with the bottom. Dude, you see that yeah. one up high? The right half is the top half. There's one right here. There's one. There, Got oh, him. Yeah. Got him, baby. Woo! Got him, baby. Woo! Oh my gosh, guys. This is. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> oh, he's coming up. He's in the transducer. I got to turn my headlight on. We're going to the chassis. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got to get the Vexlar out. Oh yeah! 
Oh my goodness. This is so much fun. No, oh, get up here, baby. No, oh, got another one, baby. Another one, about the same size, guys. But look at that, that big ball of meat just right in his mouth. What a cool fish, man. Well, we put in a hard day and the day has finally came to an end. We're about to head back, guys. We did get a couple burbot though. I got my first burbot ever, so I'm very excited about it. And I'm very excited to try these fish and see how they taste. We're gonna get back to the launch, get back in safe and uh, go clean some fish. Well guys, it is the next day and I have a new friend to introduce you to. We had to get Dipsy a brother and this is Copper. He is five months old. He was a stray. He lived the first part of his life on the streets, but we rescued him and he now has a great home to be spoiled throughout the rest of his life. And I'm really looking forward to many years with this little guy because I already absolutely love him. And I'm really hoping that he loves going out in the boat and go with me on fishing adventures because Lord knows Dipsy is not a fan of the water. But fingers crossed, hopefully Copper will. Nevertheless, he has just been an awesome dog so far. Oh. 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 Yummy. That's some yummies, bud. That's some yummies. Another cool thing too is right outside here, we got a bunch of deer coming into an alfalfa bale. So we're gonna have a fresh fish dinner and be able to watch a little bit of wildlife as well. But now guys, I'm gonna get this fish going. With the white fish, I'm just gonna do a simple deep fried recipe in panko. And then with the burbot, we're gonna do the poor man's lobster recipe. I've been wanting to do this recipe with the burbot my entire life. I've always heard it's fantastic. So tonight we're gonna put it to the test and get cooking. Now with this white fish here guys, I'm just gonna dip it in a little bit of a whipped egg batter, then I'm gonna roll it in panko and put it right into our hot oil here. Well, our first round of fresh Lake Superior whitefish is up. It's time to give it a test. Man, <laughs> it freaking rocks. I love how fluffy and light the panko breading is. And I also love how light the whitefish is and it just blends so well together. And this is just absolutely delicious.
Okay guys, first time ever trying bourbon. Maggie's first up. Let's give it a try here. Oh, I'm excited for this. I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna you, be brutally honest. You have no idea. I've been waiting forever. <laughs> here we go. Balls in the air, baby. It's really good. So what we did guys is we just boiled this bourbon for about seven minutes just until it started flaking. We melted a little bit of butter down and we just added just a little bit of sea salt to this flay here and uh, we're going to dip in some butter and give it a try. Maggie says it's pretty good. Wow. What do you think of my Ab assessment? Absolutely delicious. It's so good. Definitely tell that bourbon is a perfect fish for this just because it is a firmer fish. If you use a flakier fish, probably like a perch or a walleye, it would probably flake apart when you were boiling it. But this bourbon is just delicious and it's perfect for this recipe. I now see what all the hype is about. Yeah, it was really good. We just did a few pieces here, guys, just in case we messed something up or wanted to change it. And uh, now we're going to get a whole big pot of this bourbon here going and chow down with the yeah, whole family. Yeah, the whole family. I saw it release and I almost got it. Oh! Oh, I got one! Fish on! Fish on! Fish on, baby! Fish on! Oh no! Oh! Single egg! <laughs> it was this jig and wrap! He was <laughs> oh! It just, I thought it was just like a nice little white fish, you know? Yeah. Which, I mean, that probably is what it feels like pretty close. I know, I know. Yeah. 